so hey there everyone back again with another video and in this video we are gonna learn something more in flutter so basically what we are gonna do is we are gonna learn something about the bottom navigation bar okay yeah i just know that i have made a video on the bottom navigation bar but in this video we are gonna add some of the animation to that part okay bottom navigation bar and just uh, um, work on the curved navigation bar okay so as you have seen at the starting of the video that um, what i'm gonna make it okay so let's just start it so before that what we can do we have to import a dependency that is the curved navigation bar dependency okay just to um, see the uh, version of the uh, dependency at the time when you were coding you will be coding sorry um because at the time of i am coding it is 1.0.1.26 just check for that okay and one more thing guys you have you have to enable the uh, dex multi dex okay because it might show error in your code to some point okay and so i have just um, uh, enabled that dependency by adding this line multi dex enabled and um, the this line that is com dot android dot support colon uh, multi dex and the version is 1.0.3 okay so just to match this thing okay so now what we will do so you can see that this is the code that i have written uh, previously okay and i have talked about the scaffold and each and everything okay now what we will do after that we will just um, uh, type the uh, sorry what we will type bottom navigation bar yeah bottom navigation bar okay and now what we will do we have to use the curved navigation bar okay come on curve navigation bar yeah okay sorry uh, curve navigation bar yeah so you can see that it asks for an item and it will definitely ask for many things i think so so let me let us just go and see what are the things it can ask it can ask for on tap on uh, um, what you can say animation and each and everything so let us just start from the beginning so let me just remove this index and what we will do we will just ask for the initial index okay so we will just add for the zero as we have talked about the um, what we have talked about we have talked about the bottom navigation bar so the, we have id over there which just redirect us to the uh, first item in our bottom navigation bar so it will just relate to somewhat like that okay and after that we will have a widgets of icon okay so let us just give two to three icons icons sorry icons dot okay add okay add home let us check for the home home yeah and let me give it a size okay so let the size be 30 yeah okay and let us just copy and paste it three to four times yeah so let me just change it to add okay and let us have a call okay add call okay i'm now just profile internet profile or user mm. i doesn't have a user okay let it be okay so we have four things okay and now what we have to do we have to go for the color i will just give it a color as colors dot white okay and after that we will just um, button background okay what will the background of your color so let it be colors dot red isn't okay and after that what we will do we will just set the animation curve so it you have to wait for the video in which i will talk about the animations okay because currently i am just also learning about the animation over there Mm, is in out okay i have just written the animation part and each and everything here okay so i 
we'll talk about the animation in some of the other video okay so what animation it will ask for a duration okay and we can just give it a milliseconds of that okay milliseconds and let the millisecond be 600 okay it will ask for six approximately six seconds and more mm, less than six seconds or point six second and on tap it will ask for a int sorry index okay and in that we will just set the state okay and at the starting we will set a int id as zero sorry as zero okay so we will set that id is equal to index okay so this is done i think so okay but we have to uh, get the um, what you can say pages or the widgets in our bottom navigation bar as we click on the first so the body will change second we will set body should change okay so we will just uh, um, create a tab view okay so we will go up there and we will create a tab okay yeah final tab so we will make final okay uh, i have talked about that in my previous video of bottom navigation bar so i am not going to talk about that here okay so as we have only four things we will just uh, talk about that only give four thing okay so center will have a child okay and it will have a text okay so it will have a text as one okay text comma okay yeah we will set this style so the text style should be size font size so we will give font size as 25.0 okay and we will just copy each and everything four times okay one second copy with two three four okay yeah two three and four okay mm, one thing we can do is that we can use the container also yeah so we can just one second guys we can just use the container so that we can identify each and everything okay so we have a container and in that container we will set the color as uh, colors dot mm, red come on not again yeah so and after that child we will just paste that child okay and here we will give the color yeah so colors dot white okay we are gonna copy this we are gonna paste each and everything here okay so it is two it is three it is four okay we are gonna change the color after red we will set for blue okay and let it give us okay so let it change as black okay so copy paste it here okay so now what we will do we will have after curve we will have a body okay and body will call the tab view okay yeah so body will call the tab with the id as index okay so i don't think it it is a yeah there is a error here because we just called the comma two to three times yeah i think it is done okay I don't think that there is any error so let us just mm, run the code and see what the output comes let me just enable my debugging mode once again so e x p r okay I just use the physical device I don't use the emulator or anything else okay come on yeah 
so device has been connected yeah so let us just see the output once again yeah okay three two one okay so I have just clicked the run button and it will just take a few minutes or few seconds it depend on the code and each and everything so we will just wait for the code and yeah guys if you are new to my channel just subscribe to my channel as I bring the things related to flutter and Android each and every after two and three days mostly okay and the code will be uploaded in my github repository just visit the github repository for the code okay link will be in the description below make sure to check our facebook page and instagram page for all this stuff related to android and each and everything okay and if you have query related and everything anything you can just write down in the comment section or you can directly have one to one conversation with me on my facebook or instagram page mm, the instagram page code is my code game you can directly type the code and you will just see the icon over there because there, there are many things related to my care code cave so just follow there and have a one-to-one -one conversation with me okay so we'll just meet up after the dependencies are built and apk is built so you can see that the apk has been built and it's now installing the apk in my phone so you can see the outcome of my phone um, this is the YD this is the developer option okay so just wait for a few seconds guys and the output will be shown in the um, screen here okay so just um, let the APK install in my phone as my phone doesn't have much space let us see what it does okay and I will be uploading the screenshot and video related to this we uh, um, stuff in my github repository and facebook page also so if you want to visit my facebook page i have uploaded each and everything that i have worked on till date in android over there okay make sure to follow my page also okay yeah let us see what the output come it's now in a long time more than four minutes okay yeah this is the white screen on the right hand of my screen or I here I don't know where it is <laughs> okay so you can see that to some point this is the mm, screen the, you have one over there as I click over the add button it changes to two three four okay so yeah to some point it is cool okay yeah I think okay I don't know about you but if I will make definitely a application and which has a navigation bar I will definitely go for this animation <laughs> oh, wow. okay so that's all for today guys if you have any of the queries related to stuff that I have talked about in my previous videos or anything else or if you want to talk about any other thing like Java or Android or Kotlin just feel free to comment me down okay or you can directly have a conversation with me on my Facebook page just go for that okay so that's all for today thank you have a nice day